test it's to make a, a vertical. Yes. yes. After. And today it's a vertical. Uh, we have chose one of the most famous single vineyards in Chateau de Jacques, yes. Claude Rogeret. I'm not sure that it is the best. It's the most famous. And with uh, a lot of, uh, with a lot of uh, great vintage, and normal vintage, not necessary, only the great vintage. 13 is the last great vintage. 13, it's, uh, it's a, a nice, the last, nice, nice, nice vintage. 10 is uh, very burgundy, very delicate, very precise, very, uh, yeah. very delicate wine. Nine is considered com like the the great vintage of this last uh, 20 years. The weather was absolutely perfect, yeah. and uh, the wine is with a big density, with a very special texture, with big color, and uh, I think it's with a potential of aging, incredible, okay. incredible. But at the same time, when you, uh, you have this sort of wine, of course, everything is more slow. Yeah. It is able to live more long time, but his evolution is more slow. And you see, today I think, I say that, I just test all this wine, it is a little sleeping. It is a little sleeping. sleeping. Yes, sleeping. But 08 was for me a more difficult vintage because we had the uh, spring um, rainy. Yeah. And of course, when you have this sort of weather, the sick arrived with a lot of mildew, a lot of things comes up. And uh, when the grape is arrived at the winery for the harvest, the, uh, state, the sanitary was not perfect. We had a lot of road, a lot of things uh, like that. And it was necessary to make a very, very strict treat of our grape. We have to do that. And after we are following the wine day after wet day, very precisely. It was a very, very uh, difficult vintage. The result is a very precise wine. Is not a crazy wine, you know. When, when everything is okay, you, you can leave. You put your berry in the tank. You can leave your berry alone. The wine is made himself, and uh, it's uh, and you have a, a lot of a, a very crazy wine. And when you have this sort of vintage, you need to follow your wine very precisely, and the result is a wine very precise, very serious. 05, it's also a great vintage with a big concentration because also the weather was very hot, very uh, warm. And at the beginning, the wine was a little, uh, a little tough, a little tough. But now I think 05, it's perfect. 09, sleep a little, but 05 today, it's really good. 04, I think one of the, my uh, uh, most difficult vintage because uh, really we had the bad weather and the maturity was really not correct. And uh, not correct, uh, not full maturity. And when you have a, a grape like that, you need to make careful to don't extract too much because at the end you extract a lot of green tannin. Yeah. And uh, we are also following the, the wine, but my objective with O4 was to make a wine uh, with a nice harmony. But for the Beaujolais, it's not the default because uh, Bordeaux, for example, is known for his powerful, his body. When you have a, a, a vintage like that, it's difficult. Yeah. Beaujolais, I think, is a champion of the drinkability. Drinkability. And make a Beaujolais not necessarily very tough, not necessarily very dense, but very harmonious and very drinkable. Yeah. It's a good thing sometimes. You have this sort of vintage in the middle. I think it's a really good, good thing. 97, uh, it's uh, for us particular because it's the first vintage, the first real vintage of Louis Jadot in Chateau de Jacques, you know? Yeah. Louis Jadot buys Chateau de Jacques in 96. Okay, the first vintage is really 96, but uh, Louis Jadot had no, no uh, follow the vineyard before. Yeah. And the real full vintage is 97, a great vintage, a nine vintage, very rich. And uh, today the wine is uh, very, very nice. This is a uh, normal vintage in terms of quality. And at this time, the domain was the property of Famille Torin. Uh, this family worked very, uh, very well 
not so uh, far that uh, Louis Jadot in terms of time of maceration, in terms of uh, farming techniques, in terms. But the work was uh, very nice without semi carbonic maceration. At this time, the, the people had beginning to distem the grape to make a, a long maceration, 15 yeah. days. And we see a, a wine very interesting, very interesting, uh, 30 yeah, years yeah. old. And uh, we begin to have a more secondary aroma with prunes. Very, very, uh, very interesting.